all time something come back again talking about the annual harvest on the 29th of September at the Maracas Valley RC Church. Joining us this morning in studio is Father Mikhail Woodruff, parish priest and parishioner Wendy Rampaul. Good morning to both of you and Good welcome. Morning. Good morning. Thank you for having us. Thank you for joining us so early in the morning. We appreciate it. <laughs> and I mean, it's very exciting specifically because this is an annual harvest and we were just speaking off mm -hmm. air about the fact that this church has been around for a super long mm -hmm. time. Now, before we get to the history of the church, let's speak about how long the harvest has been taking place, Father. Okay. Sure. So connected with the history of the church, and again, good morning to Trinidad and Tobago, members of us in Michael's Parish, and thankful for TTT's having us this morning. So our church is over 150 years old, so there's a lot of tradition, a lot of history with the church, and our harvest has been happening for a good number of decades. Oh, gosh. Right? So not as many as the... the time of the church itself but um this has been an annual event for years and it's always connected with the feast of saint michael so that's sunday the 29th of september so it's a church celebrating this special day for the parish mm -hmm. and we celebrate it with our mass as well as with our harvest what time of mass celebrations to commence sure we start at 8 a.m that sunday morning with mass okay and then the harvest mm -hmm. after mass what time does it finish or is it just going until so we go until 6 p.m okay so, well mm -hmm. pretty much now the theme is quite interesting as well um we saw we see it on the screen right now old time something come back again but also there's a no place like home our valley Correct. can you expound on that for us sure sure so last year 2023 we had the old time something come back again to kind of go back to the tradition and history of the event and this year we're looking at no place like home our valley as you mentioned mm -hmm. we're looking at trying to continue to have this sense of strong identity of the community. Marcus Valley is a very traditional community. It's known for its parang, it's known for culture. So it's our way as church of connecting with our wider community, which we have for a long time, to have that sense of deep loyalty to the community and sharing that with Trinidad and Tobago. So let's talk about that deep sense of loyalty to the mm -hmm. community as well. Wendy, it's time for you to come into the conversation this oh morning. My. Welcome again. I mean, oh, as a parishioner so at St. Michael's RC, um, how, what is it like for you and how important is it, the parish to you? This is something that we look forward to every year. From a little girl, well, I'm only 16, but I'm talking about, um, mm -hmm. you know, way, way back. I remember mm -hmm. so many, you know, the activities, the, all the homes being excited, even painting and preparation for visitors in the valley itself. Um, it's just a tremendous, should I say, joy. Mm -hmm on that day, celebrating the Feast of St. Michael itself. Definitely. I mean, it's a family, mm -hmm. basically, oh, yes, of course. Family. And generations. And generations, mm -hmm. yes. It, it takes us back to, to oh, you know, God rest your souls. A lot of our members, they give their life to St. Michael's yeah. and St. Michael's um, harvest. That's like, you know, the Rubens, the Lendors, um, you know, um, the Thomas, mm -hmm. a lot of people, the Henrys, and um, now what is beautiful is that the children have now stepped into that place and they are doing such a tremendous job. Absolutely tremendous excellent job. to see the youth involvement and youth yes. ministry as well. So let's speak about the day itself because we, if we have time, we need to touch on some of the wider activities that mm -hmm. also you carry on. But what can we look forward to at the crusade? I mean, I'm not the crusade, rather the harvest. Mm -hmm. I know when we always look forward to stores, we mm -hmm. look forward to games, we look mm -hmm. forward to food. So mm -hmm. what can we look forward to, sure. Father? So starting in the morning, we have breakfast available. So a number of local breakfast options. Um, we're going to have the Mass, of course, and after the Mass, we have the blessing of the stalls. And with the blessing, the stalls begin. So we have over 20 stalls, and the stalls will be, you could think of a school bazaar, mm -hmm. right? It's that kind of feel. So the activities, um, one of the things we did from last year was we did no blanks. You know, sometimes you go to these events, you pay your money, and they no say, blanks. you're not going to win anything. In this case, you must <gasps> win something yes. once you pay. Yes. All right, so you get something. We'll so we have, your bag, yeah. you know. Yeah, so, yeah. We, take yourself okay. home. <laughs> so we have the very popular hoopla, we mm -hmm. have Wheel of Fortune, we have Cat in Bag, we have things for children, we have a kid zone. Mm -hmm. um, so it's something for everyone regardless of the age, a lot of fun, you get something to take home. So it's really building up the community and of course um, it is the main fundraiser of our church which is of, of course necessary to operate. Right, So, um, but before we get to the fundraiser, mm -hmm. I know also you're quite known for your choir. Mm. if I'm not mistaken. So is there going to be some live entertainment as well? Right. So we have a number of choirs within our parish. Um, so our parish is made up of four communities, believe it or not. We have our main St. Michael's Church. Mm -hmm. We have St. Cecilia's Chapel in La Saiva. We have St. Therese's Chapel in Okono. 
and you have our community of Rwango. So all of that is one parish, right? In terms of the entertainment, yes. we start at about 2 or 3 p.m. and mm -hmm. we're going to have um, our local parang band, local meaning, started in the church. Los Paranderos de San exactly. Miguel. Okay. Yeah, so we Los Paranderos de San Miguel. We have some guest parang bands coming in. We have a live DJ. Um, so we definitely try to encourage the local um, talent, first of all, and then we invite some others coming in. Excellent. Mm -hmm. It's good to see, of course, that you continue to push. And as you would have mentioned, Wendy, the, ge the generations coming yes. in and continuing to work. Now, Father, you just mentioned something very important. We're speaking about church restorations. The church is 150 years old mm -hmm. and bills have to be paid. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about that with proceeds from the harvest and what we can look forward to per the restoration. Sure, absolutely. So the restoration of our church happened, compl was completed about seven, to, seven or eight years ago. Okay. All right, so some years ago, the church could not be used for as long as 12 years. So because it's that long a time, it's made of limestone, it's a wooden roof. Um, the, there was a beam that fell actually. So mm -hmm. thank God no one was hurt. The church was physically closed for 12 years. The parish hall became the church. Wow. So a major restoration um, project was done. Um, and at this point, the church actually has a debt. We're paying yeah. off a loan of $4.3 million. Mm. All right, so all of our fundraisers, all the things that we're doing, of course, we need funds to continue our operations. Part of it is also going towards um, the significant loan. If I could mention, in terms of our yeah. operation, our church is very much involved in the community. Yeah. So we're an active part of our police station council. We run a homework center for at least 40 um, children on an afternoon. We give groceries to families mm -hmm. in need. We run a free legal aid clinic. We have an NGO um, called Elijah's Bread. Part of the calm light order that I'm a part of. People call this a Jedi costume on a lighter note. I'm part of the ancient <laughs> calm light order the in the Catholic Church. So, um, so yeah, we do a lot of work, of course, as church. Our prayer, our liturgy comes first. Mm -hmm. And we do have a, a significant outreach to the community, which has been happening for decades. Yeah, it definitely has. And let's go back to that. We're talking about decades, history. Wendy, let's bring you back into the conversation this morning. Um, as a parishioner, how would you say it adds value to your life, your family, and your community's life? Oh, St. Michael's born, St. Michael's, uh, well, baptism, from baptism to, you know, confirmation and on and on. My entire family, we are involved as well. Mm -hmm. You know, we still serve at the St. Michael's. And St. Michael's has been, you know, my strength. You know, it um, it gave me that that know how that that relationship open that relationship. Priest come, priest go. Mm -hmm. Yes, they add to my life and they add value to my life and that of my family as well. And um, it's our home, another home. Saint Michael is another home for us. It's a theme, no place like home. And there we yes. go. Mm -hmm. no Great choices like there. Mm -hmm. Absolutely amazing. And of course, you, you open up your space to be home for everybody. Everybody. He's, yeah. he's the priest of inclusion. Mm -hmm. He includes, whether you like it or not, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. He will bring you on and automatically you are involved. <laughs> you know, sometimes you sit by and you say, how am I... Uh, Okay, it's you. <laughs> yeah. Skills. Yes. The, uh, yes. <laughs> All okay. inclusive priests. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's good. And that's yeah. how it should be. So hats yes. off to you for yes. doing that. Yes. Um, how can we get more information about the harvest, Father? Sure. We have a very active Facebook page. So St. Michael's RC Maracas Valley. You can definitely look at the Facebook page. As well as our parish office number is 662-4103. They're on the screen. So you can contact our parish office during office hours, Monday to Friday, 8 to 4. And I'm um, looking forward to happy. We have people coming into the country for this, believe it or not. People yes. in the diaspora mm -hmm. who have left Maracas Valley. So people can contact us that way. Yeah, mm -hmm. a lot of people are looking forward to it. That is for sure. And it's beautiful that it's an entire day of Absolutely. celebration. Mm -hmm. And it's also great to see, again, that the youth ministry are involved mm -hmm. as well. I saw something that um, I really wanted to find out, though, called Down by the River. What's that about? Right, so that stall is run by one of the families, Wendy mentioned, the Thomas family, and 
Um, it's so we have the, it's basically a hodgepodge, I like to call it, a little mm -hmm. of everything. Okay. So we have people who are donating items, so you could come and get a little of anything and everything. Hmm? Excellent. And everybody is walking away with something. Oh, yes. Something. That is oh, something. Yes. Something uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wendy's like, yep. Oh, Make yes. sure that you come on down and yeah, get you start this. with your breakfast and then go to your lunch and then buy your stuff, your clothes, your groceries. You you just name it. Go to wherever mm -hmm. you want and mm -hmm. you will come out with something, rest mm -hmm. assured. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So giving mm -hmm. back to the community yes. as yes. well. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning, Father. Thank you so much, Wendy. I okay. know that the, um, I keep on thinking crusade, I don't know why, but I know the <laughs> harvest is going to be absolutely excellent and that... It's just the beginning of, not the beginning, but the continuation of many, many more to yes. come. Absolutely. Oh, yes. Thank you so Thank much you for so having much. us. It's a pleasure to have Thank you both. So have a great day. You do not want to Thank miss St. Michael RC Church Harvest happening on Sunday, the 29th of September. Come to Mass at 8 a.m. and stay till 6 p.m. We'll be back in a few moments right here on the Now Morning Show.